Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Fast Fetch on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over a home lab, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, uh, I'll be installing uh, today Fast Fetch. It's actively maintained, feature rich, and performance oriented a Neo Fetch like system information tool. Um, Neo Fetch is gone now, so Fast Fetch took over, um, and it's being developed over here. Um, so, uh, I had a lot of suggestions, uh, to make this into a Docker image, so I went ahead and done that. Um, it's not exactly perfect, um, but it's open source, so if anybody has any ideas on how to improve it, uh, you can go to Big Bird Docker Images on GitHub and, uh, submit a pull request. Um, so, this is what it looks like. So, I'm going to get to explaining the Docker and Pose now. So I'm going to be starting on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to uh, go over to search and type fast. And then now you see how to install fast fetch on Portainer right here. So I'm going to go in the Docker and Pose. So I'm going to set some services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Fast Fetch. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Fast Fetch. And this is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. The image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. Restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, they don't try to restart. Th this is great for uh, when you're in a restart loop. You can just stop it. Um, so pri a privileged is true. So we're going to have to set that to get the system, inform uh, the system information like metrics. And then the, we're going to mount the volumes. So um, the proc is on the host side. The left side is on the host side. The right side is on the container side. And same goes with this one and this one and this one. Um, so etc local time is on the host. And then on the containers, etc local time. And then it's set to read only. And then now we're going to map ports. So 7681, that's on the host side. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it to like 7682. Um, so the container side is 7681. Do not change the container side. And don't change any volumes. So I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go over to my portainer and get this set up. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my portainer. I'm going to go to local stacks and then add stack up here, and I'm going to name this stack um, fast fetch. And then I'm going to come down here to the web editor. I'm going to paste in the Docker and post I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. Once we do that, we're going to scroll down to deploy the stack right here. And what this is doing is it downloading the Docker and drop the registry, getting extracted, getting up with Docker and post underneath because it is using the Docker engine. So we got it up and running. Saying we can see it's up and running because of the logs. So it's listening on 7681. So we got it set up. So I'm going to start on Portainer again. So I'm going to go to local stacks and then I'm going to go in the stack of fast fetch. Um, so uh, you see stack and editor up here. You see the actions. So stop the stack, uh, delete the stack, and create template from the stack. Stack duplication, size migration, containers in the stack, and then access control down here. You can come over here to editor and you can see the Docker and pose right here. And uh, this is really handy. So you can change the Docker image uh, tag anytime you want. 
Now, if you're using the latest tag up here, um, you can come down here and update the stack, and then you can repull the image off the registry and then redeploy it with check mark in this, and then you just uh, press update right here, so you can cancel out of that. So now you can go in the container. You can see actions for the container. So start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate, slash edit. You can see the container status down here, the ID, name, status, created, start time, and then you can see logs. This is great for debugging. And inspect, stats, console, attach. You can come down here to access control and then create image. And then container details like the image and then port configuration. The left side here is on the host and then the right side is the container. Um, command, entry point, environment of variables, labels, restart policy. If you want to change the restart policy, I would do so in the uh, stack over here. So, uh, so you can do, uh, do so in the Docker Compose and then you can update the stack. Um, so if you go back in the container and then, um, the, uh, the labels and then volumes down here. So on the host and then the path in the container right here and then the connected networks. So that's a little bit about portainers UI. So now I'm going to go to the UI in my browser. So, um, I'm going to go to the portainers IP address and then I'm going to add 7681 and this is the host port that was in your Docker Compose. So I'm going to go to it. So so now you get some uh, uh, information. So the OS, the host, the kernel, uh, uptime, the packages, shell, terminal, CPU, GPU, memory, swap, disk, a local IP, and then the locale. Th this information is not perfect. Um, but uh, if you have ideas on how to make it better, please let me know on Big Bear Community, or you can start a pull request on Big Bear Docker Images. So that's Fast Fetch. So I just went over step by step on getting Fast Fetch running on Portainer. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go in the Big Bear Community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.